going on YouTube? This is Uriah the Phone Guy here. I'm going to be bringing you a tutorial video on the Samsung Galaxy S2 on the AT&T network. Uh, today I'm going to be showing you how to download and install a custom ROM without your computer. Um, as you can tell, I am on a custom ROM right now. Now this will work if you're stock and rooted and have clockwork mod recovery. Uh, the first thing you're going to need is the XDA Premium app. I'm not sure if this works with the regular app or not, but we're going to go into the Samsung Galaxy S2 form. And you can pick your ROM of your choice. Um, just for an example here, we're going to go to the unnamed ROM. Uh, you're going to want to find the main page that has the download link on it which is here and we're going to scroll until we find the download and here we go so unnamed 2.1.1 full zip and if you click on that it's going to take you to the web page that you would regularly see on say your uh, home computer Gonna zoom in here, make it a little bit easier to hit the download button. Uh, anyways, it'll start downloading it. You can watch the status on the taskbar up here. Um, so once you got that installed and it's all ready to go, it's gonna save on your internal SD card in your downloads folder. You can of course move that with Root Explorer as well if you like it somewhere else, a little bit easier to find in Clockwork Mod. And then we're going to go into Clockwork Mod Recovery. So in my ROM, I do have the recovery option with the power button. So let's go ahead and hit the recovery here. And let's do it. Let do its thing here real fast. Of course, I didn't finish downloading the ROM. I've already got a ROM on here that I will. Uh, using its place right, should pop us over to clockwork mod recovery here in just a second alright so now we're in clockwork mod recovery um, first thing you're going to do if you're going to a brand new ROM you're going to do a wipe so you're going to wipe data factory reset you select that and you go to yes so you'll go to yes delete all user data and you're going to wipe the catch partition now, same thing you're going to select yes and then you're going to want to go into advanced here and you're going to wipe the uh, Dalvik catch I think that's how you pronounce it and I always do uh, fix permissions as well um, also, one thing to note too, I, should, I guess I should have covered this before I showed you guys that, but you're going to want to do a backup. Always backup your current ROM the way you have your phone right now. Just in case something goes wrong with the flash, you can always revert back to the way your phone was before you try to put the new thing on it. Okay, so after you've got all the wipes done, you got your backup done. Well, backup first, wipe after. Let's see, you're going to go to install zip from SD card. You're going to do choose zip from internal SD card. Oh, wrong one. Just hit choose zip from SD card. Alright, so you're going to go find your download folder. And this is where your download is going to show up. So anything that you've downloaded, it'll be here. So. Just for example, I'm already on 1.4.2 on the uh, IC screwed ROM. <laughs> uh, so we're not going to take care of that. I already have the kernel that I want on here. This is also how you can flash a kernel as well. You just select it and then you'll go to yes install. So after everything's installed, uh, I'm not going to install anything right now because I have my phone the way I want it. But after everything's installed, you'll have a bunch of prompts here that says, you know, installed successfully. 
Uh, and you're just going to go over here to reboot system now. Select it. And let the phone boot up. And this method works for a lot of other Android devices as well uh, without the use of a computer. So if you've got another Android phone and you're watching this video, um, chances are as long as you have the XDA Premium app, this method will work for you. And again, I have not tested this method with the free app that comes on the market. So, All right, so there we have it. And I'll reboot you back up. Um, of course, it's going to be a little different on mine because it's going to go straight into the ROM, whereas you'll probably have to set yours up. Um, then again, I was using Widget Locker as well, just in case anybody's curious. So, there you have it. Um, if you have any questions, please leave it in the comment section. Uh, if this video helped you out, don't forget to give me the thumbs up for thank you. And you can head over to XDA Developers too. Um, always hit the thanks button there. My username on XDA is uaguilar. And also too, just in case anybody's wondering, the screen protector I have is just a generic one I got off uh, eBay. And the case is, uh, I believe it's called the Soda Pop Casemate by, uh, by Casemate. Uh, I bought this at the AT&T store when I got the phone. It's kind of neat. It's got a little stand for, you know, if you want to watch a flick from Netflix. Or, you know, just kind of prop your phone up. Uh, I don't use it too much, but I like the case. I had the same type of case for my Infuse 4G, which, you know, saved my phone a few times, so I figured I'd get, get it for this one. So That's it for now. Uh, have any questions at all, don't forget to uh, leave it in the comments. Uh, do watch my other videos. Um, there will be more to come on the Samsung Galaxy S2. Uh, right as soon as ice cream sandwich launches in either CM9 form or another type of ROM, I'll definitely be doing a lot of coverage on that. As of right now, I'm pretty satisfied with the ROM I have. Uh, if there's enough requests, I will load a different ROM on here and give it a whirl for you guys and then post a video of uh, my experiences. So, Again, thanks for watching.